What's up, guys? Back here again with another jailbreak video. Roblox jailbreak is about to have a biggest update. If you guys actually play Roblox, you guys can see here the jailbreak has a new description now. It say a new anime will appear this weekend, which means that the update is here is gonna drop this weekend. A CMO CC is gonna add the craziest thing here inside of jailbreak. Before I show you guys what it is, I am actually doing another torpedo giveaway. If this video has 3,000 likes, I am gonna go and pick one person from the comment section below to win one of this torpedo here for free. So if you guys have not liked the video, go ahead and like the video. All right, so Benimo literally tweet this out, right? They tweet a lot of video here too. But basically, what they're gonna do is they're adding an arm NPC in the game. You guys can see here, there is gonna be new prices, including bigger cash. Let's gonna go ahead and watch this video, all right? Let's see what's up here. All right, so I at first, we see the plane right there. All right, that actually looks pretty cool here. Whoa, oh my God, the airdrop actually got revamed. All right, so that's the airdrop right there in the game. <laughs> Yo, it said all new airdrop with NPC. This is literally insane, dude. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Here, there's literally a lot of bandits here. The airdrop update coming soon. And then this dude be like, let a SEMA open. <laughs> it tries so hard to make this video. All right, so basically, what happened is it is gonna be an NPC in the game right now. And they are armed, right? Which means they have like crazy weapons. All right, so let's see what is the enemy. All right, so first we have the bodyguard. All right, so this here is going to be the weapon choice pistol, the chaser. All right, this guy right here this guy weapon is a shotgun the first guy is going to go up the crate the chaser is gonna chase down enemy all right that's nearby you guys actually trying to get the crate this guy here is gonna chase for you this is actually looks so cool dude like look at that outfit and stuff that is literally amazing all right so next we got the enforcer in the game this guy here is going to guard the crate and do heavy damage my guy literally having a rifle in the game that is insane all right so yes guy that is crazy dude and lastly it's gonna you know the sniper here. All right, the sniper is gonna be the one that actually look out for the crate. So, there is gonna be four agents, all right, four NPC here in the game. They are all guarded here with objectives and stuff. Similarly, Enforcer actually have a lot of damage here because of the rifle. Some other NPC have guns like shotgun and pistol and sniper as well. And right here, guys, I'm not really sure you guys can see this, but it's a property of something something. All right, yeah, so probably gonna be like the NPC property, I guess. Or probably, you know, NPC on this. But, but he must say there's also more than one type of crate all right so there's literally different colors of crate here you guys can see in this you know video all right this is the wooden one there's the blue one here and i cannot assume the purple one is literally like the best i guess simo say best of all all right you can team up we reward all player who contribute all right so you guys can team up with your friends and attack this little guard here our right, npc all that good sauce maybe some people can actually use sniper some people are probably gonna go ahead and actually be able to use rifle or shotgun but if you guys actually participate in the fight you're gonna go and actually have a chance to get a cash reward and obviously each party have a different reward i guess some of you know harder crate like this purple right here is gonna have a better reward compared to the wooden one i'm kind of sad because battle royale is not in the game everybody expect battle royale to come back but there is npc here in the game Sima also say that tomorrow they're gonna go ahead and actually have a news photos of people actually on the slower device maybe if you actually play on you know a potato pc or some of you guys actually playing on phone they're gonna go ahead and release that news here tomorrow by the way guys if you actually cannot see this here it seemed likely the crate actually have some kind of like you know health like this little you know numbers here this is 491 which means that you i think you have to like you know do a certain damage i guess to a certain crate this one right here is a wooden crate so it's probably gonna be at you know 500 health if you guys actually trying to get a better crate like probably the purple one the health will increase you guys can see here there's many people throw bomb there's many people just trying to get this npc but at the end guys they actually drop out cash all right so you guys can see this is like one thousand uh dollars i guess from airdrop i guess so you guys can actually collect this here it's simply it drops uh, like a certain amount of cash here per crate higher difficulty of crate drop more cash and lower difficulty of crate is just pulling on drop like ten thousand or fifteen thousand by the way guys for if you guys actually already broke in the game congratulations a simo is adding more save yeah now we're actually gonna be more broke so simo is adding a lot of 
buff stuff. You guys can see here, he actually adding, you know, this very active skin here for the vote case and this carbon fire vehicle skin. It's probably gonna be one of my favorite here for the purple safe. All right, so yes, expect more items here is coming here to the safe store. There's also some more rings here and some cosmetic vault here in the game. But yeah, look at that dragon chaser rings. Look at that. It's just literally so good. And besides actually revamping the safe, they're actually gonna revamp the entire train system. You guys can see here, this is the train. The train right now is actually very boring because it's literally the easiest robbery. All you need to do is just go in and rob the train. However, on the new train, this right here is the new train. So apparently, guys, you guys can see this laser right now. This laser right over here. I think you have to crouch right now to actually rob the train. And at, I'm not sure about that door is being popped like a casino train or I'm not really sure if you have touch it and then dynamite is popping up or, you know, just the classic holding E to open the vote. All right, so I'm not really sure if they're going to go and upgrade this system here to like the casino system. But yes, guys, the train is actually getting revamped here next updates. I'm very, very looking forward into this little NPC fight because I feel like everybody here is going to have a chance to actually, you know, play in jailbreak together. They're going to work together. Jailbreak's probably going to have more players now because, you know, teamwork is actually very fun to do. So yeah, let me know what you think about this little, you know, NPC fight here in the game. This is literally a brand new feature gameplay that Simo and Bessie see adding to the game. This here is from Christic. Christic is the original owner of this idea and they implement this into the game. So I'm very really excited for this and I'm very really looking forward for this. Comment down, let me know what you guys think about this, guys, in the comment section below. Keep using Stockholm VG, or should buying Robux or Premium. It does help me out tons. And subscribe for more because this was epic.